For what purpose does the gentleman from Nevada seek recognition? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent to speak before the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Earlier today, the gentleman has withdrawn the objection. The gentleman will continue. Earlier today, a gentleman from Louisiana posted on his official X account, LOL, these Haitians are wild, eating pets, voodoo, nastiest country in the Western Hemisphere, cults, slapstick gangsters, but damned if they don't feel all sophisticated now, filing charges against our president and VP. All these thugs better get their mind right and their ass out of our country before January 20th. Mr. Speaker, under Rule 23, the Code of Official Conduct for the 118th Congress states that a member shall behave at all times in a manner that reflect credibly on the House. These words on an official post do not reflect credibly on the House. In fact, they are inciting hate. They are inciting fear. And because of that, it is time for this body to stand with one voice and to ensure that there's accountability. So I move to refer this matter to the Committee on Ethics and that we bring this member up for censure. Does the gentleman yield back? I made a motion. There is no matter pending before the House. I made a motion based on Rule 23, point of uh, parliamentary inquiry. The gentleman is not stating a proper motion. The gentleman is not stating a proper motion at this time. The motion, Mr. Speaker, may I, may I inquire. inquire under Rule 23 whether this is a violation of the official code of conduct before the House. The gentleman has not made an inquiry relevant to the current proceedings. My, my motion is not in order. My inquiry, Mr. Speaker, thank you. May I, may I ask of the parliamentarian whether these, the Rule 23 code of conduct applies against the gentleman from Louisiana. The chair will provide an advisory opinion on this matter. Uh, Mr. Speaker, point of inquiry. The gentleman will state the inquiry. Is it appropriate for a member to use their official uh, equipment in violation of Rule 23. Does the gentleman have a parliamentary inquiry? Yes. The gentleman will state the inquiry. My parliamentary inquiry is, is a member allowed to use their official equipment of the House of Representatives and platform in violation of Rule 23? Sir, this is not an issue that the chair is prepared to rule on at this time. This is a matter for the House to determine. And that is why I made the motion to refer this matter to the Committee on Ethics so that they can fully deliberate and determine whether the gentleman from Louisiana violated Rule 23 of the Code of Conduct of the House of Representatives. Sir, that is not a proper motion that's in order at this time. P point of order. Part, point the gentleman of will state the point of order. What is the proper motion for me to refer this matter to the Committee on Ethics? Sure, he can. Yes, he can. Sir, the chair will not issue an advisory opinion, but I advise you to take this issue up with the parliamentarian.
I'm not asking, Mr. Speaker, for you to make a determination of an advisory opinion. I'm asking for the matter to be referred to the Committee on Ethics based on the violation of Rule 23, Code of Conduct, before the House of Representatives. Sir, the ruling of the Chair is that that motion is not in order at this time. At what time would it be in order after someone... There, there's children who are feeling threatened in this moment based on the actions of the member from Louisiana. Uh, the chair advises the member to pursue this matter through the proper channels under Rule 9 of the House Rules. For what purpose does the gentlewoman seek recognition? I make a motion to overrule the ruling of the chair. The chair has not issued a ruling. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, you have made gentleman, a ruling. Gentlewoman will state their point of order. You have made a ruling that the gentleman's motion is not in order. And I object and disagree with that ruling, so I would like to make a motion to overrule the decision of the chair. The chair advises the gentlewoman that there was no valid motion made and therefore no ruling made that can be objected to. The chair advises members of the availability of Rule 9 under the House Rules. Words be stricken from the official record that he used by using official property and platform of the U.S. House of Representatives. Sir, that is not a valid motion under the House Rules. M point of inquiry. The gentleman will state his point of inquiry. So the gentleman from Louisiana, had he Sta stood on the floor of the House of Representatives and said these words on the House floor, the body would have been able to remove his words from the record. Is that not correct, Mr. Speaker? Sir, the chair cannot respond to a hypothetical inquiry. Does the gentleman yield Ms. back? Mr. Speaker, it is unfortunate that on the last day of this body's work on behalf of the people, after we came together just last week in a bipartisan way to protect and to provide dignitary protection for our national party candidates, that we have a member who is choosing to use an official platform and therefore it is my intention to bring to this body a suspend. motion of censure and therefore I yield back. No, no, I, move. I move to censor Representative Clay Higgins for violating Rule 9 by bringing discredit and disgrace to the House of Representatives. And I'm submitting this motion. A gentleman has not made a proper motion. A gentleman I move to censor. A I am entering this as a resolution. Again, the chair reminds members of the availability of action under Rule 9. I am submitting by resolution a motion to censor Representative Clay Higgins for violating Rule 9 by bringing discredit and disgrace to the House of Representatives. There's an official motion, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman attempting to give notice under Rule 9? I am attempting to give notice that I intend to bring a censure motion, resolution, upon return to this House of Representatives. And I would hope that every member of this body understands that no person particularly those who contribute to communities, who are entrepreneurial, who give to our communities by being nurses and first responders and teachers, that those individuals, those children, no longer have to live in fear. 
or intimidation because of any words or posts that come from members of this body. That it is time to end hate and the rhetoric of hate and that it, 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 it is not becoming on any member to continue to push this type of rhetoric on any platform, let alone from the House of Representatives. And with that, I ask unanimous consent to accept my motion to censor Representative Clay Higgins for violating Rule 9 by bringing discredit and disgrace to the House of Representatives. An objection is heard. For what purpose does the gentleman from Louisiana seek recognition? First of all, the tweet has been deleted already and removed, but I object, For to, what purpose I object to the motion. And if we want to go suspend. through every comment will tweet suspend. from the other side, we'll be happy to do it. Gentleman has and not you been would recognized. Be appalled. Does the gentleman seek recognition? For what purpose does the gentleman from Louisiana seek recognition? The gentleman is recognized. Nope. The objection has been heard. Pursuant to Clause 12 of Rule 1, the chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the chair.